Hi, welcome to Bookie. Today we will unlock the book The Brain That Changes Itself, Stories of Personal Triumph from the Frontiers of Brain Science, written by Norman Deutsch. This book extensively explains how the brain can be reshaped and how life is magically transformed as a result that change. The author of this book is Norman Deutsch, a famous research scientist in neurology who was once part of the research faculty at Columbia University. Due to his years of experience in scientific research and his excellent writing skills, Deutsch is regarded as one of the best storytellers among science writers. Writing in plain English, he narrates the most cutting-edge findings in brain science and captivating expressions. Deutsch's storytelling mostly revolves around neuroplasticity. He indicates that the physiological structure of the brain isn't unchangeable. Suppose a part of the brain fails to function, it is no cause to worry because the brain is more than capable of reorganizing and reshaping itself. Deutsch expresses that there will always be another part of the brain to work in place of the malfunctioning part. So, how competent is this self-organizing ability of the brain? It is competent enough to allow a person who has been blind since birth to see by touch, or afford an 80-year-old person the ability to move as freely as a 50-year-old would, or even make a woman with half a brain to live like any average person. Moreover, Conditions like speech disorders, autism, and stroke can be gradually improved by the brain's self-organizing ability. These seemingly miraculous possibilities are all true events that have occurred. Scientists have discovered that our brains just like clay can be reshaped, and as a result, the quality of our lives can be improved. This book The Brain That Changes Itself, Stories of Personal Triumph from the Frontiers of Brain Science is a narration that revolves around neuroplasticity. Deutsch in this book combines the twists and turns of real-life experiences with scientific theories. With his eloquence in writing, he opens up a new perspective that is both informative and interesting, a perspective that conveys both will and emotion. As Publishers Weekly exuberantly put it, Deutsch turns everything we thought we knew about the brain upside down. This book has also met with considerable critical acclaim from the New York Times, where it reads, The power of positive thinking finally gained scientific credibility. Mind-bending, miracle-making, reality-busting stuff, with implications for all human beings, not to mention human culture, human learning, and human history. Now, we will uncover the major points of our bookie, The Brain That Changes Itself, Stories of Personal Triumph from the Frontiers of Brain Science in Two Parts. Part 1, How Is the Brain Reshaped? Part 2, How Reshaping the Brain Can Change People's Lives? Part 1, how is the brain reshaped? Before we begin our discussion on how the brain is reshaped, let's first take a look at an interesting fact. The assessment for taxi drivers in London is the strictest in the world. Why? Well, because of the very dense and complex distribution of roads in London, the assessment to gain license requires candidates to navigate through the streets of London as a vital test of a cabbie's memory. They have to choose the most convenient route quickly without referring to a map. This unintended experiment leads scientists to find that the more years a cabbie spends navigating the streets of London, the larger the volume of his hippocampus. Hippocampus is a complex plastic brain structure that plays a major role in human learning and memory. This result shows us that the human brain isn't inelastic but plastic. The plasticity here though mainly refers to neuroplasticity, which is the nervous system's ability to continually change its structure. To reshape the brain with such physiological mechanism, we would require the support of both relevant scientific theories and necessary auxiliary devices. Fortunately, Michael Mertzenich, a professor emeritus neuroscientist at the University of California San Francisco is the hero behind the invention and innovation of the neuroplastic device. According to Deutsch, Mertzenich has been involved in the development of at least 20 neuroplasticity devices. Mertzenich is a neuroscientist who specializes in redesigning the human brain by training different areas in the brain to learn how to process information. This means that our brains can be trained to acquire new skills and knowledge, and ultimately attain their goal of renewing themselves. That does not only strengthens people's ability to think but also it enhances their mental activities. According to Mertzenich, the effects of brain exercises can be compared to the admission of drugs in the aspects of treating severe disease like schizophrenia. As long as we adopt the right learning techniques, under the right context, it is possible to change thousands of neuronal connections in the brain. Our nervous system is divided into two parts.